Today we're going to be working on block printing block printing and we're going to be using a cartoon character as our motif cartoon character as our motif the list of material you will see on the screen now all the materials we're going to need and on my table that you're looking at is the motif that we are using for the printing this is the styrofoam that we're going to be using for the block printing and what we are actually going to do is we're going to transfer this motif onto this styrofoam what we mean by that is that we want this motif which is what we are printing on a paper okay don't forget it's going to be with repeat pattern simple repeat pattern so this motif we are transferring it to this styrofoam okay and to do that we're going to turn it the other way, flip it like this so that it can register directly. Although the good thing for this is we can actually do this like this also. We can do it like this. But it's the reason why we can do it like this is just one way and it will show the same thing. Okay. But more often than not, when you do something like this with some types of motif, for it to show properly you need to turn it up and trace it well you trace it from the line you can see currently it's not showing very well so i may need to outline it from the back so that it can show very well now i've got it done the way i want it to be the next thing is i'll take my masking tape set this properly set this properly so that it does not shift when i am uh, I'm tracing or drawing so I need to tape it so that it does not shift now I've got it stuck to it I'm going to use a pencil to do this you can also use a pen but something that is not too sharp now the essence of this is to create indentation or to create noticeable marks on the styrofoam okay so you're going to press a little not too much as you trace as you try to draw or trace the the pencil or the line may actually cut the paper may cut rather your paper may cut but what matter most is that you make sure you you press enough to make a noticeable mark on the on the styrofoam if you press too much on the pencil to the paper it can actually break your styrofoam okay and you don't want to do that because that means you need to get another one okay because when it is broken there are some types of breakages that you will not be able to it becomes useless to you now i have finished the tracing and i want to remove the uh the tape i had to go for a pen because actually i just remember that uh, a pen at times would work better as I can also see the lines and you know a pen is not always very sharp the the tip looks uh, slightly blunt which is good for which is good enough for this task besides as you draw you will see the lines you are trying to make which makes it a little easier for you okay now i have i'm through with it and uh, what i have done that has helped is i use a pen and the pen made the picture to be clearer and then i could even apply some forms of pressure some levels of pressure without breaking the the foam the next thing i want to do is to put the paint in the tray And then I use my brayer, uh, some people call it roller, it's a type of roller anyways, but it's basically meant for printing. I roll it on the, on the paint and ensure that every part of it is covered with the ink. Sorry, I used the wrong word. It's ink, not paint, okay? I ensure that every part of it is covered with the ink. 
Now that that has been done, I will run this on top of my styrofoam that has the image. Gently, no rushing. Run it until every part of the styrofoam is also covered. And of course, you need to hold it by the edge. So I've done this now. Now the next stage is the printing stage. And what is going to happen, I'll set this on the edge properly so that it can cover. Good. Now that I've put it there, I will need a dry brayer to apply pressure. Apply pressure on it. Apply pressure on the foam. Then you remove it gently, 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 and you have your Dora. That's the first printing. Okay. Then I'll do the next one here, but before I do that, I have to rub more inks on my styrofoam. I'm setting this to touch this because the foam is not as long as the as the paper. So I'm moving it closer to the printer and I can trim it at the end of the day. Alright, now this is the, the old logic. If your drawing on the foam is not well done, this is what is going to expose it. This is the color I'm changing to. And just is the same method of application. The essence of this is to spread it and make sure it goes all over the, the foam. You don't have to use two colors. I just want to do mine to create a pattern. Setting it properly in the right position is also very important. Alright, and uh, here it is. 